Hello there, I'm Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. I suppose you are here to listen about my life. I'll start from the beginning. I was born on July the 28th in 1929 in Southampton, New York. I was the first, first lady to be born in a hospital. I grew up with wealth and a good education. My entire family encouraged me to do different things. As a family, we all got along well. As I grew up, I became more and more interested in writing. I won first prize in Vogue's writing contest. The goal was to write four different essays. The prize was a trip to Paris, but my mother didn't want me to go and leave her at home, and so I couldn't take the prize. My twin interests in writing and art led me to my career as a journalist. I was the camera girl, and I earned $42.50 a week for interviewing famous people, taking pictures, and bringing the scoop back to the office to be printed up. I wanted to get as much experience out of my job as possible. I even developed the pictures I took myself in a dark room. It was a fantastic job. Since I had a love of art since I was little, I sketched some fashion designs while I was first lady. Hundreds of thousands of women adored my fashion sense that even at some stores, the mannequins looked like me. But being first lady quickly came to an end when my poor husband was shot in Dallas on November the 22nd, 1963. It was such a horrible thing to witness Yet I had to keep my head high and move on in life, taking care of our two children, Caroline and John Jr. As time passed, my children grew up, and I decided that I would get married again. On October the 20th, 1986, I was married to Aristotle Onassis. He was in charge of an airline and an international shipping company. After he died six years later, I became an editor. I worked at two different places, and my job was not only to edit books, but to organize the illustrations and write a foreword for some of the books. It is such a wonderful job. It all started with my love of poetry and writing. Thank you for stopping by. I enjoyed our little chat. Goodbye.